This is Maria Brink. Chris Haworth. From In, In This, this Moment. Moment. And you are watching Berlin Metal TV. So what's up, Metal Mother Truckers? It's Axel for Berlin Metal TV again. And today I've got the great opportunity to sit right next to Chris and Maria. And they're playing in a band called In This Moment. Yeah. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Pretty fine. You've got great, great news. You've got a new album coming up. Mm -hmm. It's called Black Widow. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's our fifth album, right? And I think it's definitely our most um, album thus far that I think really describes who we are with like how diverse it is and all the valleys and peaks in it. It's kind of a metaphorical type album about like um, I think a woman or a girl who's like innocent and through life and experience becomes kind of loses her innocence and has it taken away and becomes kind of infected and then her transition out of that into more of this like um you know in control in power and um, no longer is the person having anything took away she's like the stronger you know more confident in charge to what extent is this album autobiographical um, I mean, it's usually b b mostly about my personal experiences because I just like to put it into like a metaphorical type way because I always have to write from personal things just so I can make sure that I'm connected to it because I think that's the, the magic in music is that you have to make sure that um, I feel it because if I feel it, then other people feel it. So I think if you lack that emotional connection, then you lose that magic. So it, it is all in my experiences, but trying to do them in different, you know, with using my imagination. There is a new album out in November uh -huh. and then you've got new shows, I guess. Mm -hmm. And you're famous for your outfits and stuff. What can we expect from the new In This Moment live shows? I mean, I think we're always the type of band that um, wants to evolve and and not be predictable and bring something new and something exciting and that's gonna, um, you know, bring some sort of real excitement and something, you know, riveting to, to do our show. And this show is definitely our biggest show that we've ever done. It's It's got props and pieces and performers and it's literally like a, kind of like a, like a Vegas show almost, like with the scenes changing and the sets changing and stuff. So it's the biggest, most powerful show we've ever done. And there's all kinds of uh, visuals from huge spider webs that I'm crawling to the top of, to like cages, to um, sometimes it's just stripped down and it's just that intimate kind of connection, rock and roll, but it's really going to be a spectacle and, and um, a show, show. So we're excited. The biggest one we've ever brought by far. When can we see something like uh, this? We're, the plans are being laid right now, but it's looking like February, March. Those are going to be our first European tour on the album cycle. And then we'll probably come back in June for the festivals. And then again sometime at the end of the year for next year. We're going to try to hit it three times. Yeah, and we're, we're trying to stress really hard that we want to be able to have the means to bring that show over here. Because I think a lot of times when, you know, our fellow bands or a lot of bands come to Europe, it's hard to bring your whole show because you're traveling overseas and all that. But, you know, we don't want to have, you know, the show over here lose that magic that we have over there. So we're going to try really hard to be able to bring the whole thing. Okay. And who's going to be the support band? Well, we don't know yet. Oh, yeah. That yeah, I don't know yet. And we're kind of scared to headline. I am because we haven't really um, blossomed here like we have in, in the States yet. We're still kind of new here and there's a lot of unmarked territory and a lot of people don't know who we are yet. So it's a little nerve wracking to come headline. Um, but we're just kind of weighing it all out and trying to figure out what's best right now. Who's writing the songs? Is it you? We all write them together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everyone writes. Basically, me and Chris and... Um, Our producer, Kevin, who's like another member of our band, we do all the main writing. There's a few other writers on the album for a few other songs. Uh, there's two other writers, right? There's two, yeah. And for for two songs. others, yeah, three other songs. Um, but really, we have all different ways of writing. You know, sometimes Chris will come up with like, you know, a main riff and, and we take that riff and Kevin will put some of his electronics on and then I'll lay vocals on it. Or sometimes Kevin comes with this little electronical thing and Chris layers his guitars and... I put my voice on top of it, or sometimes I just write a song where I'm just singing on the piano and then we build on top of that. So yeah, it's really like a, a just, it, there's really no rules and we, we kind of just go song by song and whatever is happening is happening. But I write all my own, 
yeah, I write my own lyrics and melodies and stuff like that. Um, they help me come up, you know, with things this and that and help me figure out what's best or if there's a word that I do and I'm like, this is a good word, but this isn't magical enough. Or I've heard a lot of people say this word before. So we'll sometimes all come together and try to figure out like, what are a million other words that can w better describe this word type thing. So it's really a big collaboration. And are there any musicians left you want to have on an album? Um, eventually, I definitely, people I would love to collaborate, I'm sure Chris has his, I would really love to collaborate with um, Chino from Deftones and Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails. That'd be my two people I'd probably really want to write with. It's the first time you're working together with Atlantic Records. Mm -hmm. How's the work relationships going so far? Ship. I mean, we're really, we're really excited because, you know, you hear, you know, bands go to major labels and, you know, we're a, a, a eccentric band, I guess. And you hear about, you know, nightmare stories like they make you write 75 songs or they try to make you more commercial and all that stuff. And we can honestly say that they've really given us a lot of freedom and they've been super supportive. We, we had our album and we just had those songs and they loved them. It wasn't like, no, you got to do them again. You or redo this song. Yeah. There was none of that. It was like, we, we, we didn't know what was going to happen at first. We were, when we were first doing it because we knew they were coming in halfway through mm -hmm. to check everything out, what we had gotten so far. And we were a little nervous at that point just to see, hopefully, they're going to like what we're doing, you know, because we're doing exactly what we want, like we've always done. And they liked it. They were cool. We didn't have to redo anything. So, so far, man, it's been an amazing experience. And they've really been yeah. setting us up and giving us extra support. And, you know, we love our previous label, Century Media. They were always great to they us, too. They were great. We loved them. But Atlantic definitely feels like a, a, a step a big step up, you know, in terms of lots of things. And it was really about Atlantic just having that overall, like I, we felt like they had a, a bit more arsenal, I guess, to, to be able to get us spread more world worldwide and, you know, to the, to the major masses. And so far they've been really being supportive of the art and not trying to pull it apart. And, and they've been, you know, they haven't been trying, never once has anyone said, well, why don't we dumb it down and make it a little, let's do a normal song. Like we never even heard that once. So yeah, no complaints. Okay. And then there is a video coming up, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. And Sick Like Me. We shot, we just shot two videos okay. at the same time. Oh. So we did a, a photo shoot and two videos all at the same time, which I was all panicked about in the beginning. Like, how are we going to make this happen? It's not realistic. And it was kind of, I was kind of um, fighting it. But you know what? It was like an amazing crew that showed up. There was probably 50 people on set. Okay. And we did both videos. And they're, they are definitely by far the biggest, most... Um, intense like and visually and at best videos we've ever done and i think people are going to really really like them a lot it like a, a, a significant step up from our last videos on yeah. the last which did really well for us too you know? yeah it's top-notch cameras top-notch every everything that we wanted to create basically is being created on them so thank you we're thank looking forward for so the good. tour and the videos and have a great day Thank you, you Thank too. You. Thanks for interviewing yes. us. And we're going to be out here soon with the show, so make sure everybody comes out and sees it and buy the new the new album. Yeah. And go get go get some beer. Yes. <laughs> See ya.